If you guys need coins, training, players, even your mutt levels grinding for you, make sure to check out my new sponsor's website, MrMuttCoin.com. Use code Mike at checkout for 25% off. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to another No Money Spent episode. In today's episode, we have the off season. I'm going to show you guys all the upgrades that I did. We have some solo battle rewards, and uh, we're going to create this God Squad for season, what, four. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up all of these rewards and with solo battles i could take the coin option but i'm not gonna do it we're gonna open up the packs now if i was you and opening up these packs i'd probably save them for when there's a limited time like honestly tomorrow there's gonna be a team of the week limited time that's probably what i do but hopefully i can pull a power up out, out of one of these and i get one and it is matt stafford oh man I was hoping it'd be Lamar Jackson. Next, Hail Mary pack up. Uh, give me the power up. Give me maybe Evan Ingram power up. I'm pretty sure that's actually like a pretty high, pretty high selling power up. When we don't, we just get straight silvers. So now we have our midfield packs or the quick sell. The quick sell, I want to say, is 9,000 coins and the pack is a pack. So for both of these, we're going to choose the pack. Alrighty, boys. Here we go. Two midfield packs coming right up. The goal is to pull at least one elite out of these packs. So if we can pull an elite. It's definitely a W. We get a gold, a silver. We get a, another gold. Can it be a high overall? 74 Joe Flacco. Basically elite. Actually, I'm just kidding. And we get another gold. So the golds are coming out. That was definitely not 9,000 coins. That, that pack we definitely took an L on. Here we go with our second midfield pack. Can we get an elite like maybe like a low 81 82 something like that maybe a maybe a high selling power up something like this please melvin gordon that's actually not bad because he has his uh little set reward okay this pack this this pack is better than the last one not good but better now we have our two red zone packs or the quick sell now the quick sell for this is i want to say 50k or not 50k it's 50k combined it's 25k quick sell so you could choose that if you want to that's probably the smart option but just for me for what i want to do i'm going to open up these packs like if i have no coins whatsoever which i i definitely understand that i'm low right at around 135k but i i just want to go with the packs i feel like that's just the more fun option for this video all right boys if we don't get any elites out of these packs i will be i'll do i'll definitely be upset i'll definitely uh feel like i played myself just a little bit all right we get a 77 brandon shell a gold card 77 another gold and a power up please be a good one travis kelsey and oh my god a silver dude it looks like we played ourselves that was a 25k pack and uh our highest overall poll was a 77 not what you want to see not what you want to see whatsoever dante pettis another gold card here we go in elite thank you very much 81 akeem hicks it's not a great elite it's you know it's not an 80 but it's it's not great here we go second one 81 phil Lindsay. so this one was definitely better I don't know if it's 25k, right? But it's definitely better. Now, we also have these rewards right here. I'm going to blur out everything on the screen, or maybe I'm just going to zoom in. I'm, I'm not really sure. So, we have 60 series trophies. We're going to go ahead and quick sell that. And then we also have, if we go to quick sell value, we have a 44,000 coin quick sell. So, that's not bad on top of the stuff that we're going to sell. Maybe we walked out of here with like 70k, maybe 70k coins for doing solo battles, which again, it's not bad. It could have been better if I would have taken the coins, but I'm not complaining. So for our brand new season, we're going to go over some of the stuff that we did. The first thing that I'm going to do is the brand new uniforms and team that we are rocking. We're sticking with the NFC West, but this time we're going with the Arizona Cardinals, man. I saw their color rush unis and I just couldn't pass up, man. Those all black units are absolutely sick. So we're going to go with the Cardinals. And then we obviously have the Cardinals home state stadium and John Madden head coach so that's what we're doing for our team guys we have a brand new quarterback for the squad well you know what I shouldn't say brand new quarterback we decided to go ahead and power up Lamar Jackson yes we did it we went ahead and did it and I'll show you guys the stats they're actually kind of crazy 92 speed 88 throw power 84 accuracy mid which is decent 86 deep 91 throw under pressure 91 throw on the run Oh boy, man, this card, this card's good. It's definitely good. If he gets an upgrade anytime soon, because he's been playing like a beast, he's probably going to be the best QB in the game. Here we go for the defensive side of the football. You guys probably have known what I was going to do for a very long time. I'm a Rams fan, right? So there's only one possible player I could upgrade at the right at position, and that is Aaron Donald. 93 overall. I used my 92 overall power up pass on him. And actually, matter of fact, I used my 90 overall power up pass 
pass on Lamar Jackson. So honestly, if you guys can get his power up, you can actually get this card for a fairly cheap price. I sold his actual team of the week card for like 320,000 coins. And I use those coins to do a couple other things on the squad. And I'll show you here. If you guys look on our chemistries, we have Sprinter Tier 2. Now, what Sprinter Tier 2 gives us is plus one Excel and plus one speed. Now, I know a lot of people said, Mike, do Brawler. You don't want to lose agility. But for me, I'm all about speed, and I'd rather have the acceleration boost in there. I absolutely love that. Once we get tier two, or I guess tier three, which requires 20 players, we get another excel, and then tier four is another speed, but we lose another agility and another strength. So I'm excited to get this boosted all the way up. We're going to have to add on a lot of these here if we want to do it, and we can only add on Sprinter if it is a power up card but obviously when you add sprinter it makes some of these cards even better someone like randy moss the 93 overall randy moss he has 93 speed now along with other crazy crazy catching stats and running stats someone like jim brown who i'm not even using as one of my x factors now has 91 speed with 91 break tackle so he's a strong dude on the goal line he's definitely a beast and then on the defensive side of the football i added on sprinter to pretty much every one of my main starters that would benefit from it if you guys can see, my three active superstars are Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, and Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman will always be one of my superstar X-Factor players. Um, Aaron Donald was one because I just want to feature him a little bit in the next season. And Jalen Ramsey, let me show you guys all the stuff that I did with Jalen Ramsey. We got his stats going absolutely crazy, boys. 90 speed, 94 man, 92 zone. 94 pressing if you guys check out his abilities they're also kind of insane his superstar x factor ability is zone hawk and this actually gets enabled pretty consistently his tier one ability is tip drill which is a higher chance to catch tip passes his tier two ability is man up so essentially whenever he's in man-to-man -man coverage he is locked down his tier three ability is zoned out and this is improved reactions and catch knockouts in zone so essentially when he's manned up when he's zoned up he is locked in. This is my number one cornerback. This is my go-to guy. I know I don't have to worry about this side of the football where Jalen Ramsey is whatsoever. And surprisingly enough, the last thing that I did was uh, I upgraded my kicker. I figured, you know what? We went how many seasons with like an 81 overall kicker with 82 kick power? We got Jan Stenerud. Oh my God, I probably butchered that name so bad. But we got Jan. We got Jan the man. And he's an 89 overall kicker with 89 kick power. We powered him up and uh, we were able to get a pretty good kicker for a pretty decent price and surprisingly enough that actually boosted me to a 91 overall so now we are a 91 overall no money spent team that is sick so this will be the team starting out for the next season and i'm really confident with the way that we play in the last season i ran the football a lot my number one goal was to get to the playoffs and then once i did win by any means necessary i won't be playing like that for much more i, I just I really wanted to win. So when people blitz their entire front seven and they're running these crazy blitzes that I don't know how to pass against, I just run the football and it was working. So I stuck with it. And that's how I won a lot of my games. But in this next season, that is not going to happen. We are going to be passing the football a lot more. Now, if you guys didn't already know this, there's actually a house rules event out right now. You need 130 wins which is ridiculous it's absolutely insane you need 130 wins and you get yourself a random series redux player so you can get like a shit one that's a 90 overall or you can pull like a michael vick maybe an andrew luck Deion sanders someone crazy like that you need 130 wins but i, I will say it does start with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter, so the games aren't really that long. I think I've won about 10 of them, and I played for maybe an hour or so, so it's definitely going to be a grind, but it's not going to be that bad. Now, this is something that I'm trying out. I don't know if I'm going to consistently do it. I don't know how many people are going to watch me, but guys, when you're watching this video, I will be live streaming on Twitch with this team getting gameplay in the house rules event i'll also have uh monday night football pulled up i won't actually have the game just the score and i'll be watching it on one of my other monitors and i'll be playing on twitch so if you want to watch that you can go ahead and come through and uh i don't know i'm trying to be a streamer okay i'm, I'm pretty shit at streaming but i'm gonna try my butt off
I want to say thank you for all the support as of late. You guys have been absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for December. I love the snowy period. It just puts me in a great mood. I woke up today and there was snow everywhere. So I was just super excited to film this video. Go live on Twitch and just, I don't know, grind some math. Either way though, boys, hopefully you all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And guys, I will see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so, I'm